The latest data from North Carolina Health and Human Services reveals 13 to 17 year olds are now the most frequent users of the 988 hotline. Almost 6,500 teens reached out in crisis this past year. Mental health providers say there is a significant gap in support. The mental health resources, there's just, they can't keep up. There's not enough in this community to serve this increase of the suicide ideation, the self-harming. There are real concerns as we start a new school year. Teens may struggle with social media, feel anxious or overwhelmed. It was already a busy summer for mental health professionals. One provider says since the first full month of operation in North Carolina last summer, staff has experienced a more than 10% rise in inquiries for youth programs. In July, we've seen numbers that we haven't seen before in previous summer months. Charlie's Health works directly with 988 which is the nation's suicide and crisis lifeline. In America right now, suicide is the second leading cause of death for young people between ages 10 and 14. State leaders are desperately trying to change the statistic. We've invested a lot in schools, both 988, making sure that those signs are available so people are aware of it. A few weeks ago, the nation's director toured 988's North Carolina site. Dr. Monica Johnson calls the hotline the most transformative thing that has happened in behavioral health care, and she hopes more youth lean on the service. As a mother first, I know this firsthand. Um, these are our future leaders and these are the individuals that are least likely to have stigma related to mental health. These kids care about their well-being. Counselors are encouraging parents during the start of a new school year to establish routines, offer their kids empathy and reassurance that they're always available to talk. Mental health professionals say it's also important to monitor changes with your children, whether that be eating habits or perhaps isolation, then you should be reaching out for professional help. We have other resources and information up right now on abc11.com.